New developments now in the case of a hit and run crash involving a teenager. The man responsible for causing this teen's agony is going to jail. This video is from May. You can see 17-year-old Conrad Willems shaking from the pain. Even though he's out of the hospital, Willems will never forget what happened last month. Still have nightmares from medication. Police arrested Stephen Renfro shortly after the crash that happened in Otis Orchards. Police said in court documents, Renfro admitted to drinking before he got behind the wheel. He has a history of DUI arrests, including one from February. And that's why the Willems family is so frustrated by what happened. They were there when Renfro pleaded guilty to vehicular assault and admitted he took off after hitting the teen. A judge sentenced him to 15 months in prison. In an interview you'll see only on KXLY4, Willem says that's not enough time for what Renfro did. Yeah, exactly. It could be months and months before he's walking again. He's actually worried that if Renfro doesn't learn his lesson this time, he could do this again to someone else. This is hard to watch. <laughs> But Conrad Willems wants you to see the pain caused by drinking and driving. Think about it pretty much every day. The 17-year-old was riding his bike near Wellesley and Harvard in Otis Orchards back in May. A truck came crashing into him. Authorities say Stephen Renfro was behind the wheel. He never stopped after the crash, driving off and leaving Willems alone and bleeding in the road. When police caught him, Renfro admitted to drinking and driving. Do you understand what the state is seeking to charge you with now? A judge sentenced Renfro to 15 months in prison. I wish he'd get more time than he did. Willems has to learn how to walk again. He lost his summer jobs. His dream of becoming a firefighter now seems near impossible. I hope that he has a better sense and that hopefully the 15 months that he gets, he'll think about it have enough time to think about it anyways and think of what he did to a 17 year old kid that has no idea what he's going to do anymore. Willems has his girlfriend and a loving family to help him as he recovers. While some pain remains from the past, this young man is focused on his future. I mean, if a truck doesn't kill you, then why be scared to go back and do what you're doing before? I got a second chance and I'm not going to waste it. Definitely a great attitude there. As for Renfro, he does get credit for time served towards that 15-month sentence. Reporting live outside the Spokane County Courthouse, I'm Ariana Lake, KXLY4 News.